Lions TV, this is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around the Den. Yesterday it was deal done and the pain was over for John Daddy Bavarsson as he signed for Bolton Wanderers of League One on a free transfer. Originally it was going to be a loan deal until the end of the season and the clubs were locked in negotiation about his salary as to how much Bolton could contribute. But Bavarsson agreed to take a pay cut to end his hell at the Den and moves to League One Bolton on a free transfer. As I said, look, I think he'll do all right there. When he came to the club, it was a bit of an exciting time. Brought to the club, of course, under Neil Harris. I think about 400 grand. And what we need to remember is, he's played for Wolves. He had a great scoring record for Reading. He's played for Kaiserslautern in the German League. He's an Icelandic international. And on the back of that, I think the hype of two Wolves in coming was, was quite big. You know, and I'm thinking Icelandic, Euro 216, the hoosh clap. Big, airy, Icelandic man. You couldn't have got a different type of character. A complete, placid, guitar-playing lemon, really, if I'm honest. You know, he just seems to have no personality. He didn't seem to have a lot of go in him. And he just wasn't a Millwall-type player. So we'll chalk that one off as one as Neil Harris's worser signings. But look, he'd give his all for the club. You can't knock him for that. I think he scored something up five goals in 69 appearances. Off the top of my head, thanks to that tongue, Nick, that he um, put that out yesterday on social Scored a good goal, didn't he, against his former club at a 2-0 win against Reading. Matt Smith got the first in that game. Two late goals. And as I said, at Oxford away in the Cup, he looked like a real find. It was early on in the season, so we hadn't had enough time to judge him at championship level. He scored two fantastic goals away at Oxford. So I think he's found his level. I think he'll do well there. And I'm pleased for him he's left the club. However, this leaves a huge fucking gaping hole in our side. And people are going bananas. Uh, not least of all, Kenny Draper is going absolutely apeshit on the group chat this morning. I'm going to say something strange now, and it's not going to seem right or in keeping with what I've said previously. I've actually got a good feeling. I just think we're getting rid of a lot of dead wood. You know, he didn't bring Smith to the club. I'm not accusing him of Smith of being dead wood, but he's, as we discussed in previous videos, not really up to the standard anymore. But Vars has not been anywhere near it. I mean, not, not anywhere near it. Um, refused to play for the 23s I was hearing a little while back. Can't say that's true or not. Don't shoot me down, it's just the rumour I did hear. And it would have made sense because, of course, he played once, never played again. And Ben Thompson was carrying on to do so to keep his fitness up and do the right thing. And Mavasa was absolutely nowhere to be seen. I think losing his squad number to Benny Gafobe, you know, Gafobe comes in, start of the season, welcome your new number 23 to the club. That definitely would have pissed John off and it was best for all parties concerned if he leaves the club. But what I'm saying is, I'm, I don't know. You know, he's gone, Smith's gone. Looks like Thompson could be out the door. And I just feel like, Although we've not brought anyone in, and bear in mind, if anyone comes in today, which is Friday morning, I doubt they'll play tomorrow anyway because we're not going to get anyone from anyone's first team, so they'll need minutes to get up to speed. So we're going to go with what we've got tomorrow, which intrigues me to see what he'll do. I think I, I know what he'll do, but um, you know, I don't think he's panicking. I'm not panicking because he's not going to lose his job, that's for sure. So I think he's... Um, I think he's taking his time around. I think he's buying his time. I don't think he's just going to go and get any old shit. So I'm a little bit excited about the prospect of us having no players at the minute and a manager in charge that I don't really want in charge. But I don't know. I've just got a strange feeling inside me that I just feel that something, you know, Will could be turning. I'll never agree with his tactics. But the fact that we ain't gone out and, and panic bought, some may argue we've made nowhere near enough money in our bids to get players. But yeah, look. Back to this story, John Daddy Mavarsson has left the club, joined the club in 2019 under Neil Harris, didn't work out for dad bod, and he's off to pastures new to Bolton Wanderers. So that's your lot for the Den Daily, I'll be back very shortly for another video on a potential striker coming into the club. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on you Lions.